Good morning, friends, and welcome to Ramblin' with Red Yarn. Are y'all ready to ramble? Well, I couldn't quite hear you. You're gonna have to speak up. Are y'all ready to ramble? Good. Where should we go today? Hmm. Let's see. I maybe take you to the deep woods, or where the critters make you feel good. I maybe take you walk down on the farm and do some dancing in the old barn. Oh, maybe take you around this town, backyard to the playground. Maybe we can take a gamble, and maybe we can go rambling. Oh, I'm gonna take you rambling, far to the forest, fast as a hare, slow as a tortoise, scrambling to the prize of rambles, ambling, longing to explore this land, and end up back home to our families, singing the chorus, we're rambling, singing again, we're rambling. Woohoo! Welcome, friends. Thanks so much for tuning in this morning. Today, we are going to ramble to Red Yarn's Backyard. Are y'all ready? Does that sound fun? Good. Um, hey, I was thinking we could do things a little bit differently this morning. You're, you're okay to do things a little bit differently sometimes, right? I know you're all adaptable and flexible, right? So, just yesterday, I released a new video. It was the intro and theme song to a new YouTube series I'm working on called Red Yarns Backyard. And it includes my little warm-ups, and it includes a new theme song for that series. So I thought instead of doing our usual wiggles and stretches and shakeouts like this today, you could do it along with my new video. Does that sound good? Good. Some of y'all may have already seen it, but in case you haven't, we're going to show it now, so see if you can follow along with the intro and theme song for Red Yarn's Backyard. Let's hit it. Good morning, friends. It's me, your old buddy Red Yarn. Welcome to my backyard. It's pretty sweet, huh? My critters and I just love it back here, and we hope you will, too. How you doing this morning? Oh, I couldn't quite hear you. You're going to have to speak up a little louder. How are you doing this morning? Oh, good to hear. Y'all want to have some fun together? Good. How much fun should we have? Like this much fun? More than that? Like this much fun? More than that? Like this much fun? More than that? Stretch out your arms and show me how much fun you want to have. You want to have that much fun? That is so much fun. I'm going to need your help if we're going to have that much fun. Do you know how we like to have fun in Red Yarn's backyard? First, we love singing. Let's warm up our singing voices. Everybody take a deep breath and sing. La, 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 la. Beautiful. Put two fingers up like this if you like dancing too. Good, let's warm up our dance moves with a little wiggle in our seats. Nice. Raise one hand if you like animals. Oh, good, because there's a bunch of critters who live in my backyard and they can't wait to see you. And raise both your hands like this and stick your tongue like this and go, ah, if you want to get a little silly. Should we get a little silly? I agree. Well, friends, let's get started with a little song. See if you can follow along. The sun has come up, the rooster has crowed, and I'm wide awake from my head to my toes. My friends are all here, we're ready to play. Good morning to you, it's a beautiful day. in Red Yarn's backyard today? I think that's a great idea. Well, just like I said, we're going to do some singing, we're going to do some dancing, we're going to see some critters. Um, let's see who all's come along to Red Yarn's backyard today. Let's see who's watching. 
We've got Ikaile watching today. We've got Ella from Tacoma, Washington watching today. Cascadia is here. Colette is watching. Hi, Colette. And Colette's sister, Amelia, might join us on a little break from school. Elliot's watching. Oliver and Arlo are watching. Ava's here today. Emma's listening while she's doing her schoolwork. Nice. Um, Jamie and Kira are here. Charlie and Hazel and Gwenny say hi. Laurel and William are watching. Alexander and Lexi are watching. Uh, Buggy's watching. Buggy says, Fred Yarn! Hi, Buggy. Um, Rosalie and Lake are here. And Elaine, oh, Rosie and Lindsay, Elena and Tripp, North. Um, Petalu, uh, Petuma's family, um, let's see, Ava and Maddie, Eliza, Lucas and August, uh, woohoo, Ramona and Bruce, oh my gosh, there's so many friends, um, let's see, Nova's watching, Leaf and Finn are watching, Hattie's watching, Leo's watching, Everest and Tenzin say hi, Hunter is watching, Ronan's watching, Ace is watching, Rylan and Owen are watching, June's watching, Woohoo! Wow, you all! Thanks so much for tuning in. We'll come back to shout outs a little later. If you didn't get a chance to get your name in yet, put your name in and I'll shout you out later. Well, since we're all together and since we're here in Red Yarn's backyard, do y'all want to have a backyard bop? I think that would be a great idea. I think that would make us all feel good this morning. Let's have a backyard bop. That's a big dance party in the backyard. Now, friends, if you live in Oregon or on the West Coast right now, you're probably staying inside a lot. Thumbs up if you've been staying inside a lot. Yeah, because of the smoky air, we've been staying inside. But hoping, hoping, hoping that some rain comes soon and the air gets clear so we can still have a little more beautiful fall weather where we can go out in our backyards and, and have some fun. So let's have a backyard bop right now. I'm going to show you the moves, friends. Here's what we're going to do. When we get to the chorus, we're going to say, At the backyard bop. Can you do that with me? At the backyard bop. Come on in, everybody. Hop. You can hop up and down. At the backyard boogie. Come on into the boogie woogie. Do the boogie woogie like this. At the backyard bash. We're gonna spin till we crash. Yeah, everybody's hopping and everybody's bopping at the backyard bop. You got that? All right, kids. Let's stand up. Let's get ready to bop. A one, a two, a three, a four. Maybe it's your birthday, or maybe it is not. Maybe it's a cool day, but soon it's getting hot. Cause if it goes my way, this backyard's gonna rock. At the backyard bop. Come on in, everybody, hop. Are you hopping? At the backyard boogie. Come on in, do the boogie woogie. At the backyard bop. Best dance moves, y'all. All the little hip cats are coming round the block. The hillbilly hound dog is barking up a log. To tell the rabbit and the groundhog, this place is popping off. At the backyard bop. Come on in, everybody, hop. At the backyard boogie. Come on in, do the boogie woogie. At the backyard bash. Y'all ready for a big dance off? Everybody dance as wild as you can. Here we go, let's pop! Thanks 
for coming to the Backyard Buck today. I'm so glad you're here. Some of y'all might know, but I've got a recent album out called Backyard Bop. That's the title track. If you haven't given it a listen, you should do that. You can watch another fun video on my YouTube for that very song. And let's see if we missed any kids on the shout-outs. Oh, yeah, we've got, I think I said June. Margo and Dash are watching. Julian's watching. Jackson, Olivia, and Lucas are here. Um... Oh, Lucas is so surprised when I said his name. Ha <laughs> ha, Soraya and Keeve are watching too. Oscar and Otto are here. Oh, Zeb's got some zucchini bread and is ready to boogie. Zeb, did you save me a piece of zucchini bread? That sounds so yummy. I could really go for some zucchini bread right now. <laughs> Thanks for tuning in, everybody. Well, I think it's time to see some critters. What kind of critters do you think we might see at the backyard bop today? What kind of critters might you have in a backyard? What are, some, what are some wild animals that you might, might come through your backyard or your outdoor space? Squirrels, birds, butterflies, bugs, yeah? Um, what are some domesticated animals that might, you might see in your backyard? Some friends have cats and dogs, right? Well, my old friend Jim the Hound Dog came along today and he's really excited to see you. Are you ready to see Jim the Hound Dog? Great, let's call him out in a big voice. Everybody say, come on out, Jim Dog. Come on out, Jim Dog. Here he comes. Stay out of the backyard. Whoa, 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 Jim, Jim. What are you so, ex what are you so worked up about? First, let's help Jim calm down. Everybody say, calm down, Jim. Calm down, Jim. Oh, I can't be calm, I gotta bark. I said stay out of the backyard. Wait, what do you mean stay out of the backyard, Jim? I mean this is my backyard and I want you to stay out. Oh, well first of all, Jim, let's all take three deep breaths with Jim Dog. Everybody take a big deep breath. Jim Dog, do you feel a little more calm now? Yeah, a little more calm, but still, stay out of the backyard. Woof, woof, woof. Jim Dog, Jim Dog, what are you doing? Why do you keep saying, stay out of the backyard? Well, because I'm a guard dog, and that's my job, to keep other people out of the backyard. Woof, 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 woof. And to keep out other critters, too. Woof, 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 woof. Whoa, 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 Jim, that's not very kind. W what do you mean, that's not very kind? That's my job. Who says that's your job? I, I thought you got me to be a guard dog, Red Yarn. No, Jim, I didn't get you to be a guard dog. I got you to be a friendly companion dog. You don't have to guard the backyard. Everyone's welcome in this backyard. Everyone's welcome? Yeah, that's right. All the friends who are watching today, all the critters who want to come gather, we're going to have a big old get together in the backyard and everyone is welcome. Everyone is welcome? Even cats? Yeah, even cats. Even squirrels? Yeah, even squirrels. Wow. So, so you mean uh, when people come, uh, I, 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 should, I should welcome them instead of barking at them? What do y'all think? Do you think it's kinder to welcome people into your space or to bark at them and be all angry? It's much kinder to welcome them. Well, well what do I say to include them? What do I say to welcome them? You can say, come on in, friends. Welcome. I'm so glad you're here. Oh, okay, let me try. Uh, uh, come on in, friends. Welcome. Uh, I'm so glad you're here. <laughs> no, Jim Dog, Jim Dog, Jim Dog. You did a great job. That sounds great. Doesn't it feel good to include others, to be inclusive, to welcome them into your space? Well, it does feel good. Well, I'm sorry I barked at y'all. I, I just thought it was my job, but, but I'm learning it feels much better to be welcoming. Thanks for coming to the backyard today, friends. Oh, oh, we'll have a big old party. See you soon. <laughs> Say bye, Jim. Bye, friends. All right. Thanks for helping Jim Dog be a little more inclusive. Inclusive, do you know what that means? That means when you include others rather than pushing them out keeping them away. Now, it's a little complicated right now because of this time called the coronavirus, right? We've got to little, be more careful in terms of who's in our house, who's in our space. We're trying to keep safe distance from folks, wear masks, wash our hands to keep safe. 
But at least in Red Yarn's imaginary backyard, we're having a big old party where everyone's welcome. So let's sing a song about a dog like Jim. This is an old folk song called Old Blue. Um, my version references a version by a black folk singer named Jim Jackson. He had a version called Old Dog Blue that was on the uh, Anthology of American Folk Music, a really seminal collection of, of early folks, early recordings of folk songs. So check out Jim Jackson's version of Old Dog Blue. And here's my version. It's a, it's a call and response. So each line I sing, I need you to sing back to me, okay? So let's see if we can get it going. Y'all ready with some echoes? Here we go. I had a dog and his name was Blue. I had a dog and his name was Blue. I had a dog and his name was Blue. I had a dog and his name was Blue. I had a dog and his name was Blue. I had a dog and his name was Blue. I bet you five dollars he's a good dog too. I bet you five dollars he's a good dog too. It's a little sad, but you can keep it up with the echo, okay? When old blue daddy died so hard, old blue daddy died so hard, should go hole in my backyard, should go hole in my backyard. That old blue died like a dog, that old blue died like a dog. Still I sing this hound dog song, still I sing this hound dog song. Keeping it up with the echoes, y'all sounded so good. Well, friends, um, let's see. What time is it? It is time. <gasps> you know what we haven't done in a while? We haven't had any birthday shout-outs. But today, I happen to have a birthday to celebrate, and I need your help. Would y'all help me celebrate someone's birthday today? Good. All right, I just have one birthday to shout out. If you have a birthday coming up, make sure your grown up sends me a message or an email to, and lets me know, and I'll sing happy birthday on either my Tuesday or Thursday rambling show, okay? But today we've got a special birthday to celebrate. My friend Rosie, I don't know if you can see it, Rosie is turning five years old. Rosie's birthday is tomorrow, and so we are gonna help her celebrate her fifth birthday. Everybody hold up five fingers if you can. And let's give Rosie a big high five. High five, Rosie. Happy fifth birthday. Rosie, it is, is it okay if we sing happy birthday to you? Good. Let's sing it all together. Can you all join? Take a big deep breath and let's sing to Rosie. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday to you. Happy birthday. Birthday, Rosie. I hope you have a wonderful birthday tomorrow. Keep those birthday shout outs coming in, friends. And also, I'm available to do um, virtual parties like Zoom birthday parties and pre recorded birthday videos too. So, if that's something you're interested in for someone in your family, uh, shoot me an email at redyarnproductions at gmail.com and we can discuss the specifics. Sound good? Good. Happy birthday, Rosie. I hope it's a great one. All right, let's see. Oh, let's do a few more regular shout-outs. 
Um, Odessa is watching with her bunny Sylvia today. Hi, Odessa and Sylvia. Um, Finn says that he wants to share some kale with me. Thanks so much, Finn. I would love to eat some tasty kale. Maybe a little piece of zucchini bread with a side of kale. That sounds really delicious right now. And Gray is watching. Hi, Gray. Thanks for tuning in. Let's see another critter. Oh, speaking of backyards, what were some of those other critters you might see in a backyard? We said birds, we said bugs, cats and dogs. What was one of the critters that a dog would love barking at and chasing after? That's right, a squirrel. And I've got a sweet squirrel, y'all might remember. His name is Shiloh, Shiloh the squirrel. Now Shiloh gets a little shy sometimes, so we gotta be really sweet and calm and quiet when we call him out. So everybody take another deep breath to calm our bodies down. And say, come on out, Shiloh. Come on out, Shiloh. Shiloh the squirrel. Oh, as usual, Shiloh's feeling a little shy. Say, it's okay, Shiloh. It's okay, Shiloh. Yeah. Oh, still feeling very shy. Let's make sure that Shiloh feels welcome here. Everybody say, you're welcome here, Shiloh. You're welcome here, Shiloh. Oh, really? Are you sure? Yes, of course, Shiloh. This is the backyard where all are welcome. We are so glad you're here. But I thought I heard a big scary dog barking. Oh, that was Jim Dog. Jim Dog did get a little excited this morning and thought he was supposed to be a guard dog. But, but we talked it out. And, and actually, Jim Dog agrees that all are welcome in Red Yarn's backyard. You too. Aw, well thanks for helping and welcoming me, friends. You're welcome, Shiloh. What are some other things you do sometimes to make new friends feel welcome? If you're going to school, or if you're in, even on a video chat meeting with your class, what are some things you can do to make everyone feel welcome? Say hello to them. Say hi, how are you doing? Everyone say, hi, Shiloh, how are you doing? Hi, Shiloh, how are you doing? Oh, I'm doing okay. Thanks for checking. How are you? Oh, that's a sweet thing to say back. What's another sweet thing we can do to make people feel welcome? We can invite them to play with us, right? Do you want to practice? Say, do you want to play a game, Shiloh? Let's try it. Do you want to play a game, Shiloh? Oh, I'd love to play a game. What should we play? How about hide and seek? You're in. Oh, okay. I'm going to count to ten. Everybody hide. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten. Ready or not, here I come. <laughs> I see you, I see you, I see you, I see you. Oh, I'm having so much fun. Thanks for making me feel so welcome, friends. Of course, Shiloh. Now that I feel a little more comfortable, can we sing a song about me? Yeah, let's sing a song about Shiloh. I need your help on this song, okay? It's called Hop Little Squirrel. And it starts out with some more moving. So everybody stand up and get ready to hop. Bye, friends! Say bye, Shiloh! Bye! <laughs> All right, y'all. Let's sing another old folk song from the African American tradition. This song is called Hop Little Squirrel. There's other versions of it. Hop Old Squirrel, Jump Squirrel, lots of different versions. But I sing Hop Little Squirrel, and I tell a little story as we go. And I want to see if you can follow along with the story and act out all the parts, okay? So we're going to start with a little hop on the count of four. Are you all ready to hop with me? Let's try. One, two, three, four. Hop, 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 hop. Keep it up. Hop, little squirrel, hide alone, hide alone. Hop, little squirrel, hide alone, dumb. Hop, little squirrel, hide alone, hide alone. Hop, little squirrel, hide alone, dumb. One day, Shiloh was going along, feeling very hungry. So where's he going to go to find his acorns? Where do acorns grow? Up in a tree, right? Everybody climb a tree. Climb, climb. Climb, climb, climb little squirrel, hide along, hide along, climb little squirrel, hide along, dumb, climb little squirrel, hide along, hide along, climb little squirrel, hide along, dumb. He climbs up to the top of the tree and he finds a big acorn and he starts munching on it. Everybody pretend like you're munching on an acorn. Hop, 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 hop. Munch little squirrel, hide along, hide along, munch little squirrel, hide along, dumb, munch little squirrel, hide along, hide along, munch little squirrel, hide along, dumb. He's 
munching on an acorn when who should come along but that old hound dog. And the dog starts barking. Everybody barks like it's the dog. Here we go. Shadow gets very scared and he starts to run away. On your mark, get set, a go! Run the squirrel, I love, I love. Creek rushing by. What sound does water make when it's rushing by? And Shallow thinks, how am I gonna get over this creek? I guess I better jump up in the air as high as I can on the count of three. One, two, three. Jump, little squirrel. Out of love, out of love. Jump, little squirrel. Out of love, dumb. Jump, little squirrel. Out of love, out of love. Jump, little squirrel. Out of love, dumb. Then he's flying through the air like this. make it over and he falls in the water with a great big splash of squirrel. I love, I love, splash of squirrel. I love, the splash of squirrel. I love, I love, splash of squirrel. I love, the Now he's underwater, what's he gonna do? He's gotta swim, 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 little squirrel. I love, I love, swim, little squirrel. I love, the swim, little squirrel. I love, I love, swim, little squirrel. I love, the he swims to the other side, he pulls himself out of the water, and he's dripping wet, but he doesn't have a towel or anything to dry off with. How's he gonna dry off? He's gotta shake, 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 shake the squirrel, out of love, out of love, shake the squirrel, out of love, no. shake the squirrel, out of love, out of love, shake the squirrel, out of love, no. He's shaking and shaking. All the critters gather around, they see him shaking, and they think he's dancing. They think he's starting a dance party. So on the count of four, we're gonna have a dance party. Y'all ready? I couldn't hear you. Y'all ready for another dance party? All right, grown-ups, clap your hands. Kids, let's get ready to dance. One, two, three, four. Dance little squirrel, I don't know, I don't know. Dance little squirrel, I don't know, no. Dance little squirrel, I don't know, I don't know. Dance little squirrel, keep on. sun goes down. They all start getting kind of sleepy, so they all stretch out and yawn. And they all sit down, and they all put their heads down like this, and they all start falling asleep. Sleep, little squirrel, idle-lum, idle-lum. Sleep, little squirrel, idle-lum-dum. Sleep, little squirrel, idle-lum, idle-lum. Sleep, little squirrel. Well, did I fall asleep in the middle of the show? Oh, how embarrassing. Thanks for helping wake me up. That was so fun. Give yourself another round of applause, friends. Woohoo! Yay, thanks for moving and dancing along with me. You know what time it is now? It's time for some critter portraits. Y'all ready for some critter portraits? Let's do it. I'm going to ramble over here and show you a few critter portraits. All right, my friends. I've got some exciting critter portraits to show you today. Are you ready? Great. Here we go. First of all, we have this one. I'm going to zoom in a little bit. This is from my friend Elliot. Elliot and Elliot's mama worked on this together. They used Play-Doh to make a little model of Miss Molly Cottontail. And what's Miss Molly Cottontail standing next to? Two big carrots, that's right. Have you ever worked with Play-Doh or modeling clay at your house? This is a great idea for an art project. You can make little figures. You could even make some like little puppet kind of figures. You could make a, 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 a figure of, of one of your favorite animals or one of my creator characters. Anyway, I love the way that Elliot and Elliot's mama worked on this together. This looks so much like Miss Molly. I like how they used um, little balls for the head and the body and the hands and feet and they uh, they squunched them up to be the ears and little circles for the eyes and the nose. Thanks for sharing this. And if any of y'all do any modeling with clay or Play-Doh, I'd love to see that too. Ooh, next up, my friend Ikaile. 
and her mama drew worked on these together. I think Ikaile's mama worked on the outline for the below part. It says red yarn in cursive, and it's a picture of red yarn and Miss Jessie dancing. Oh, and it looks like maybe uh, Jim the Hound Dog or somebody on the ground there. And then Ikaile, she did all the coloring. She colored in my beard orange and Miss Jessie's dress pink and the doggy. And then Ikaile did her own drawing up on top. Ikaile, these are such beautiful, bright colors that you chose to use. I'm so inspired to see the way that you chose to, um, to color them in. And this is a, such a fun project to work on together uh, with your mama. So thanks for sharing, y'all. And then next, I've got two portraits from the birthday girl, Miss Rosie. This first one is Red Yarn in a Car by Rosie, age five. She did it with watercolors, that's painting. And it's Red Yarn, Driving with Old Blue, Miss Mousy and Bob Rabbit. Uh, they've been listening to the first Deep Woods album, my very first album. Rosie's Nanny Lindsay is a Deep Woods number one fan. So that's what they did. Old Blue, Miss Mousy, and Bob Rabbit. Wow, Rosie, the colors you chose are also so bright. And I can tell you did such a detailed job drawing each of those critters. I can tell who each one is. And I love the idea that we're all driving together in a car. I wonder where we're going. To a show? To the old barn? What do you think? To the Deep Woods, maybe? Anyways, that's great. Thanks, Rosie. And another one from Rosie, and this one's very special. This one says, rain on wildfires. The fires feel sad to go away, but that's good. Yeah, for any of my friends who live on the West Coast, who live in Oregon or Washington or California, and even friends who live in Idaho and Colorado and other places out West this summer have been experiencing wildfires, fires uh, burning in natural areas. So we've had some pretty big fires in Oregon and a lot of smoke in the sky. So I know that's been on a lot of friends' minds. And Rosie was thinking about this. And Rosie's, Rosie's drawn a picture with rain falling on the fires. And we really need rain. And there's talk that at least in Oregon, maybe tonight and tomorrow we might get some rain. So Rosie, I think this is a beautiful way to think about what's going on in the world, to express it with art drawing and painting and building sculptures. Those are such good ways to process your feelings, even when things are feeling hard and when things are feeling scary. So thanks for sharing this beautiful picture with us, Rosie, and I hope you have a wonderful fifth birthday tomorrow. All right, friends, back to the show. As always, you are invited to share your artwork with me. I love showing off your artwork during my Critter Portraits uh, segment. You can send in drawings, paintings, things you've written, pictures of sculptures you've built or models you've made. It can be about my critters or it can be anything you're inspired by. Animals you love, things you see in the natural world, or just whatever comes out of your imagination. I love getting to show off your artwork. I love getting inspired by your artwork. That's one of the things that's kept me going as an artist throughout this whole stay at home time is getting to see your artwork so frequently. So thanks to all my Critter Portrait artists for sharing. Let's see one more Critter and sing one more song today. Sound good? Good. Let's do it. Oh, guess who came along today? <laughs> it's my old friend, Mr. Possum. Let's call him out. Everybody say, come on out, Mr. Possum. Come on out, Mr. Possum. Ooh, is it safe to come out? What do y'all think? Is it safe? Well, as long as we're inside right now and breathing clean air, then I think it is safe to come out, Mr. Possum. Oh, thank goodness. I've been feeling kind of nervous and kind of scared lately. Has anybody else been having that feeling? Raise your hand if you've had some nervous or scared feelings lately. Yeah, me too. It's natural to have those kinds of feelings, Mr. Possum. Well, but you don't know what happens to me when I get scared. What does happen to you when you get scared, Mr. Possum? Oh, I can show you. Would you like to see? Would y'all like to see what happens to Mr. Possum when he gets scared? Is that all right with you? We don't want to scare you. Oh, it's okay. I I I'd like to demonstrate. Um, Sometimes I get scared when dogs bark. I thought I heard a dog barking earlier. Oh yeah, that was Jim Dog, but he's calmed down. Could y'all bark like dogs? Let's try it on the count of three. Everybody try barking like a dog, okay? And we'll see what happens to Mr. Possum. One, two, three. <laughs> oh no, Mr. Possum, what's he doing? Do y'all know what Mr. Possum's doing? 
He's playing dead. This is what possums do when they get very frightened. They play dead, they hold very still, and then if there's a predator animal or something in some danger coming around, it takes a look at them and it leaves them alone because they're holding so still. I think Mr. Possum's okay. Let's check in and say, are you okay, Mr. Possum? Are you okay, Mr. Possum? Oh, yes, I'm okay, but I can't help it. That's what happens every time I get scared. I just fall over like I'm D-E-A-D -E dead. Well, do you think you could be brave this time? Well, I'll try to be brave. Here we go. One, two, three. Oh no, it happened again, Mr. Possum. Can we help him be brave? Y'all are brave kids, right? Raise your, raise your hand if you're a brave kid. Maybe we can teach Mr. Possum some tricks. Everybody say, come on, Mr. Possum. Come on, Mr. Possum. Oh, well, what do you do to be brave? What do y'all do to be brave? Do you ever stand up very straight? Take a deep breath? Put on a very brave face? Think brave thoughts? I've got a little thing I like to say to feel brave. I like to say, I am a brave person. I am a brave possum. It takes a lot to scare me. It takes a lot to scare me. Is it true, Mr. Possum? Do you think you can do it? All right, I'm going to try to be brave this time. Here we go. One, two, three. I did it, I did it, I did it. Oh, thanks for helping me be so brave. Y'all are the best. Hey, hey, what makes you feel brave? What makes you feel brave? Standing up straight, deep breaths, maybe someone you love to sit next to and help bring you comfort. That always makes me feel braver, being with someone I love. Well, I love y'all. It was so nice to see you today. Bye, friends. Say bye, Mr. Possum. Bye. All right. Thanks for Mr. Po helping Mr. Possum feel so brave today. Well, speaking of getting bravery from people we love, I have a new song called Someone to Love, and this is about how the people in our lives we love bring us strength and courage in hard times, all right? It's another one of my new songs. Huh? You can just take a, take a seat and relax, maybe sit with someone you love, and just take deep breaths and take a moment to relax and feel good. Here we go. Once upon a time, a family of rabbits were living in a big backyard. In a burrow in a corner, underneath a pine tree, life was good, but living was hard. A brother and a sister would get up every morning and set out to find a way. To dig a little lunch and have themselves a good time. They knew at the end of the day they had someone to love. They had someone to love. Tough well, we still had someone to love. A raccoon and a possum were living in a treehouse up above a garden shed. They didn't have much beyond what they needed a roof and a friend and a bed. They'd sleep away the day and go out in the evening and ramble around the neighborhood. Scrounge a little dinner, make a little trouble, stumble home feeling good. And they had someone to love. Had someone to love. No matter how rough it got, no matter how tough we still had someone to love. Maybe, baby, someday the blues are gonna get you, catch you when your guard is down. Blues that got a way of always standing next to you, following you all around. Just remember, baby, there's someone else beside you, someone who can hold your hand. But first, you gotta dig down, find the strength inside you, that you're gonna need a friend. You need someone to love, you need someone to love. No matter how tough you do that, that stuff will stay.
Thanks for listening, y'all. Can you all think of someone you love and imagine you're giving them a great big hug? Mm. Be sure to show all your love to the people that you love because you help bring them strength and hope and courage even when times are hard. And I hope you have people in your life who can bring you strength and hope and courage too. Friends, it's been so good gathering together today. Thank you for being here with me. Um, I missed one shout out. My friend Ava said hello. Oh, and I think my nephew Royal might be watching tomorrow. And Royal's about to become a big brother, which is so exciting. So Royal, I hope you're doing well and good luck becoming a big brother. I know you're going to be an awesome big brother. And you're going to show your little brother so much love and give him so much to, to help, help him grow and learn and laugh. So, friends, it's been so good being with you all today. I hope you all have a good weekend. I hope you're all staying strong out there. I know we've been in some challenging times with the stay-at-home time and on the West Coast with the fires going on and staying inside. Um, online school starting for a lot of big kids. So there's so much to think about and so much to learn and so much to adapt to right now. But I so appreciate y'all staying strong and staying connected. It brings me so much hope and strength to know you're out there. Um, a few quick shout outs. I want to give a shout out to my buddy Aaron Nigel Smith, who I'm sharing a studio space with now and is helping behind the scenes. Aaron's got a big performance this weekend at an awesome event called Kakuza Fest. Kakuza Fest is a virtual family music festival that's amplifying black voices in the family music scene. It's happening on Saturday and Sunday, 12 to 2 p.m. Pacific time or 3 to 5 p.m. Eastern time on the We Nation Radio, that's W-E-E -E Nation Radio Facebook page. So tune in We Nation Radio on Facebook on Saturday and Sunday. I think Aaron's performing on Sunday afternoon around 1 something um, Pacific time, but there's like 15 different performers uh, performing throughout the weekend. So it's an amazing event. I'll be tuning in, and I hope you will too. And I'll be back next week on Tuesday and Thursday for more Rambling with Red Yarn. Before we go, we got to do something. Everybody get your chompers out and repeat after me. Say, see you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. After a while, crocodile. See you later, alligator. See you later, alligator. After a while, crocodile. After a while, crocodile. Well, I really gotta go. Well, I really gotta go. Give me one more pretty smile. Give me one more pretty smile. Cheese. How about a high five? And a pat on the back for good listening and safe bodies. And another big hug for being such sweethearts. Mm. Thanks for tuning in today. If your family's in a position to donate, you can do that on Venmo, Cash App, PayPal, Patreon. Check out my new videos on YouTube. Subscribe while you're there because more fun videos from Red Yard's Backyard are coming soon. Have a great weekend, and I'll see you next week. Stay strong out there. Send in my love. Bye, friends.